Hello friends, we have a poem today the, for your CBSE class 11, a photograph. The title tells you that there are more photographs with her. Uh, the title also tells us, you and me, tell that it has been taken from an album, a family album. That's why the article is given is a photograph, not the photograph. If you said the photograph, that means there is only one photograph. But here it is a photograph. So that is casual. There are many photographs that uh, brings back to their memory the good old days when the narrator of this poem spent with her mother. So this is a, a, a photograph, one of the photographs we can see. So that is the title. A casual way of saying a photograph. So look at this. What do you see there? You find uh, persons like myself, the narrator, my mother is there. There are two girl cousins, younger to my mother. At that time, my mother was 12 years old. There is my uncle, and he took a snapshot, and that is the photograph here. There is another character here, that is the sea. <laughs> so these are the characters in this, or pers persons in this poem. Listen. And then what happens is that what comes to your mind? What are the movements in the point? You can see. It's like a dance here. A dance has got movements. So the movements in the poem we can see. First is seeing the photograph. Then you find the going to the sea, sea seashore or seaside holiday. Then the snapshot, third movement. Then the mother's comments, see after some, he says that after how many years, some 20 or 30 years later, she makes some comments. That is, in the, within the, within the inverted commas, it is given mother's comments on the snapshot. Then the impact of this photograph on the narrator and uh, the final silence. It's silence, silences. One of the most beautiful lines in this poem. In this poem actually there are two uh, lines which, which are outstanding we can say. One is this, that labored ease, with the labored ease of loss. Ah, it's beautiful. With the labored ease of loss. Then the next one is, it's silence, silences. These are two we can say the most beautiful lines in this poem. Isn't it? Now I told you all uh, of the background of this, the background of this poem, and also different persons in the poem, and the different movements in this poem. Now we will go through. Uh, now I, I think you got an idea. And now, if you have got the textbook with you, you can open it and read. Read with me. The cardboard shows me how it was. When the two girl cousins went paddling, each one holding one of my mother's hands, and she, the big girl, some 12 years old. So. so up to that we can say that is a, that is a, a part we can say, or a unit we can say. So what is happening there? Uh, the narrator has a cardboard, cardboard is the snapshot, uh, then it is, he ta she takes it, she means here it should be the poet, that is Shirley Toulson. So, and then he, she thinks uh, how it was. Maybe she is all alone there. We don't know whether there is somebody else. She is not showing it to anybody. No. It is a kind of meditative, it is a kind of meditative enjoyment, we can say. Meditative enjoyment. How it was. When the two girls, now the characters come in one after another, there are two girls. Their cousins, they went paddling. Paddling means walking barefoot uh, in shallow waters. So, especially seashore, seashore. Because you have seashore, you have got shallow waters. So that is paddling means. And each one holding one of my mother's hands because she is elder. And she, the big girl, some 12 years old. And at that time, her, her smile was very sweet. Later on, you will see that. Before I was born, she said. 
So he told me, the narrator says, before I was shown, she had a sweet face and a sweet laughter. So there are four memories of her mother. So, two or three things you wish, we must understand. One, there is only one of the photographs. Not, she has got a family album. Secondly, it so happened that she took it and then she was just uh, uh, enjoying it meditatively, as I told you. How it was. That is nostalgia. Nostalgia, the whole poem is actually nostalgia. Nostalgia means wistful longing for something or someone you have known in the past. Longing for the past. That is nostalgia. And here what happens is, you want to see that person once again. You want to enjoy the company of that person once again. So that is nostalgia. But that much I think is clear. Then the second movement of the poem is, all the three stood still to smile through their hair. Smile through their hair means, it must be a windy day. By drizzling also. So, hair probably might have been well kept, but now because of the wind, some hair should have fallen on their face. So they smile through uh, the hair. That's the thing. Smiling through the hair. Others are again you smile through the hair. <laughs> hair is here, you cannot smile. So, some hair must have fallen like this, this time, in front of their face. So, through that they smile. Maybe because they did not care. Otherwise, when they go to a photo studio, do you go like this? No, you are prepared. You first you go to a beauty parlor, and then get ready. Isn't it? The rouge and powder and all the what not. <laughs> Isn't it? Otherwise, you will not go and take a photo. So, this the whole thing is casual. That's the point. So that makes it all the more, we should say, enjoyable. So casual, snapshot, still smile through their hair. And the angle with the camera. See that? And suddenly there is a change. A sweet face, my mother's. That was before I was born. That is. So that is, she, it's, it's kind of a, 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 a sprinkling some uh, sweet or some sweet fruits, you can say, in a fruit salad <laughs> or an ice cream. My mother, a smart, a smart face. My mother was very smart. A sweet face, sorry, not smart, not sweet. Sweet and smart, yes. A sweet face. But it is, in the poem it is sweet, not smart. So say sweet face, my mother is. That was before I was born. I mean, she was very young and she was uh, very lively and smart and sweet. Okay, that was about her mother, a comment about her mother. And the sea, another comment, which appears to have changed less, washed their, washed their terribly transient feet. So that is another character comes in. That is the sea. The sea washed their feet. Good, they were paralytic. And uh, it's a there is a, a philosophical, I mean, see, you can say, overgrown here, and that is the sea, the water in the sea is changing less, changed less, but the feet, transient, terribly transient. Transient means changing. It is transient. It is terribly transient. That means, say, uh, in three months or four months, there would have been some change. Naturally, because there were. Uh, girls, young girls, or you can say, two of them were, 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 two of them, their names are given here, Betty and Dolly, they were maybe of nursery age. And uh, the other's mother, or the narrator's mother was just told, naturally there should, uh, changes should take place. So here you can say there is a contrast, that is, the changing human life, and also the unchanging, or comparatively less changing, nature, that is sea. Next movement in the poem, that is next unit you can say, some twenty, thirty years later, she would laugh at the snapshot. See, Betty and Dolly, she would say, and look how they are dressed us for the beach. Ha! Huh. That means there is somebody else near me. Sorry. That is, after some twenty, thirty years later, then what happened? He called someone, maybe the narrator 
or somebody else, some friends, and she is sharing this thing. She Bedi and Lobi. She will say, and look how they dress us for the beach, the sea holiday. And then again there is a comment on her mother's character, mother's uh, liking and disliking, or hobby. The sea holiday was her past. Past means past thing. I one of the way he she found some pleasure. And what about mine? There again comes in. I said, mine is her laughed. For her, her uh, la liking, or guess, her hobby, something that she liked most in her life was to go to the seashore, enjoying a sea holiday. But what about mine? Mine was her laughter. Mine is her laughter. Means I she was she was a sort of a sanguine sort of person. Sanguine, sanguine laughing and enjoying life. And now the change takes place. The mood changes. Both lie with the labored ease of loss. That is Both lie, right, lie means uh, leading to disappointment, you can say. See, melancholy. Gloom, suddenly a pour of gloom falls on the scene. And then he says, My her laughter and her past things gone. Both. Right with the labored ease of loss. Labored ease of loss. So I have here, I have given here that is, uh, I had to struggle a lot to become normal, to get. A feeling of comfort. So it took some time. Because the lie means it brought the sad thoughts in, into my mind. So Ryan is a loss. Now she has been dead nearly as many years as that girl lived. So 12 years plus 30 years. Isn't it? How did you calculate that? She was 12 when she was 12 or so when she went with her cousins. And then at 30, some 20, 30 years later, that means 12 plus 30, let us say, 42, middle age. So she had a, she had a, probably you can say, her death was untimely. See, she could not, see, normal lifespan would be 70. 60, 70, but here is 40, 50, that time she died. So now she has been there nearly as many years as that girl lived. That girl, that is when she was told. So that nostalgia again, she is gripped by the nostalgia. My mother was a girl with a sweet face, the sweet laughter and so on. And of this circumstance, this circumstance, my mother's death. My mother's death and the disappearance of her laughter, the loss of her laughter, the loss of her pressures, the loss of her past things, the loss, loss of her hobbies, the loss, the loss of her uh, kind, the good relationship with us, all these things. And of this circumstance, there is nothing to say at all. What can be said? These things are beyond our own. It's a fate. So that is the tragic note in this poem. As she died, her death was untimely. See that is. The other is the span of life could could have been. Her span of life could have gone up to 70, 60, 65. Here what happens is between 40 and 50. Of the circumstance, there is nothing to say. Or the circumstance also could mean the circumstances of her death. And the circumstances, my mother's death. Circumstances of my mother. I have nothing to say. I don't know. I have nothing. It is not within our control. So that is a kind of, it's a philosophy now. Isn't it? That is, man proposes, God disposes. That is it. And then, there is nothing to say at all. It silence silences. Good.
<laughs> it silence silences me. The silence after the death of my mother silences all. The sea holiday, the laughter, her comments on the snapshot. It silences. That is our inability to control the circumstances. Silence is everything. We have nothing to say. Then you can see, so we have read the poem, we have enjoyed the poem, we saw the different persons in the poem, we saw the different movements in the poem. Then, what is the, what do, what do, what do we have to take home? What is there for us to take home? I think there are three things we can take home. One is, you can think of celebrating Mother's Day. This is a mother's, mother and her daughter. Mother's Day. That's one thing that we can do. Isn't it? Second point to remember is, how that nostalgia, feeling for the past, a sentimental feeling for the past is DNA return. DNA return means it is inbuilt in our genetic code. It's not anything extraneous, but it is inbuilt in our genetic. So first is Madhesh, the second is nostalgia. Then third one we can see the contrast between the fast changing human life and the very slow changing nature, life of nature. This. I think it's clear. Now what we have to do is we have to go through the uh, devices used to be the point and also questions and answers that we will do in the next session. Till then bye. Have a nice time. But remember this. Break the chain and crush Corona. Take care of your health. Don't go, go out. Stay at home. Stay at home. That means you willingly stay at home. Listen, it's very important for these days and till we meet again, bye, have a nice time, enjoy your life.